API governance refers to the implementation of API policies that standardize how APIs are designed, built, and deployed across an organization. It is the application of rules to promote a consistent set of API behaviors across your company's API landscape. Traditionally, these rules are performed by a manual review process, which causes many errors and inconsistencies. With Postman v10, companies can now shift left in their development cycle to speed up development efficiencies as well as reduce costs and find things such as bugs earlier rather than waiting until they're out in production. In this video, you will see how Postman's API governance feature is powered by a customizable linting engine. You will also see how it is using the most widely used open source community standards. You'll gain insight into the ability to add your own organizational rules. These rules will be able to scan your open API files in your API editor, as well as integrate with Postman CLI and your CI CD pipeline. Let's go ahead and see how we can get started with API governance in Postman. To work with API governance feature on Postman, you will need to have an enterprise account and be set up as an admin. With Postman Enterprise, you can choose to configure governance rules that you'd like to enable for your team. To go ahead and do that, I have an example here where I have an enterprise account with my team. To go ahead and take a look at my governance rules, I can go ahead and click on the API governance tab right in the left hand uh, corner. I can go ahead and take a look at some of the tool, some of the rules that I can configure in this panel. As an admin, I can take a look at some of my out of the box rules that are available here in Postman. I can take a look at a rule such as API information, I can take a look at rules such as API operations, and I can take a look at rules for API models. All of these rules are based on for the open API spec. As an admin, I have the ability to go ahead and enable and disable rules as I see fit. I can also take a deeper insight to where these rules have come from and take a look and learn more about these rules these all of these rules are are available as a part of our api learning center they're part of spectral which is a linting engine that helps you define custom rules and execute them on json and yaml files i'm going to go ahead and take a look at how i can import some of these rules from a library here, I can go ahead and click on that import button, which will lead me to some of these rules that I'm able to import. These are all various spectral rules that I can take a look at, and these will all affect my API definition um, when I want them to. I can take a look at things like the severity, as well as um, which ones might give me a warning, and I can click on the rules that I'd like to import as selected. Another way to work with rules is by creating my own rule. To create my own rule, I can go ahead and define my rule using, a, uh, using one of the spectral tools that I might have on hand. Um, if I have an example of a spectral tool, uh, like for example, this rule allows me to ensure that all of my schema properties to have a description, I can just go ahead and copy in that rule into my definition, um, into my governance rule. I can go ahead and copy that rule that I have available as a custom rule. And I can customize my rule um, and enable the various different formats as so. I can also select where this rule is valid on whether that's open API 3.0 or open API 2.0. Now I can see that a new rule has been created and I can start enabling this, um, this rule to work when I create some definitions.
When I enable this rule, Postman helps my organization architects improve the state of my APIs. An update to a governance rule set will automatically be shared across a team so that everyone is up to date with that current rule. Let's take a look at what that might look like. So if I go back to my home screen and go to a, um, a workspace that I might be working on, Here I'm working on an API builder demo. I have an example of an API that I am looking at. To see whether a rule has been implemented across your API organization, you can take a look at maybe an API that your team might be working on. Here I have an API called customers and I have a definition called index.yaml. API definitions stored in Postman can be checked against governance rules. Collaborators can get feedback for these rules uh, regarding their position of their API design by looking by getting information in the violation tab below. I just enabled a custom rule that ensures that all schema properties should have a definition. Let's take a look at this rule in action. If I go to my definitions tab, here I have a description. If I were to remove this description, for example, or if I were to create a open API YAML that didn't have a description, I should be able to see this rule being violated. Here you can see that this rule is violated and all schema properties that should have a definition. And it tells me exactly which line and where that rule has been violated. This is a warning severity. And you can see that governance, um, my API governance rule set has been implemented in this case. So this is really helpful when I'm working on a team and I'm building, a, building an API to follow a rule set. I can, the violations really help me um, create my API according to uh, specific business needs. Over time, we understand that business needs can change. Um, and with that said, uh, the ability to hide various rules is also uh, available in, this, uh, in the feature of API governance. You can also enable um, hide um, this governance rules either as a false positive or not applicable. If you hide this particular rule, you will see that this rule, uh, this violation can be reviewed by that your particular team. Once I add my description back, I can see that my rule has now been um, my rule has now been met. My governance violation has now been met. Another place to take a look at. Um, some linting that can be done with Postman is through the Postman CLI. With the Postman CLI, if I were to run my tests, for example, here, I'm going to take a look at running my tests. I can take a look um, at um, a test that I might want to run with my, with configuring the Postman CLI. When I configure the CICD pipeline, I can see that I can configure that on various different um, configurations. And I can also test my definitions against governance and security rules. You can see that within the Postman CLI command, you have the ability to uh, check whether these rules are being linted. So when I successfully run my Postman um, CICD, I should also be able to see any violations that come up I have added as an admin in the space. Overall, Postman's new API governance is embedded into each stage of the API lifecycle that ensures that your API is designed, built, and distributed in a consistent manner. It supports a greater adoption and use, and ideally it allows teams to build APIs against specific rule sets. We're now very excited to have our users use this particular API uh, governance features. I hope this video gave you a deeper insight into API governance.
go ahead and get started with API governance in your team workspaces today.